Donald Trump shared classified information via Twitter. Which is interesting because he has been going after James Comey hard for uh, sharing classified information in the form of a memo to one of his confidants. Now, in the latest case, uh, Trump was talking about a mishap in Iran. An Iranian uh, sapphire SLV set to launch a satellite into orbit, but it exploded on the ground at the Semnon Site 1 facility in northern Iran prior to liftoff. So there was nothing shady going on with Iran. They were just trying to launch this satellite, but there was some sort of technological issue. And as a result, there was an explosion. And so Donald Trump tweets about it using an image that he received from an intelligence briefing. So let's go to graphic three. Here it is. The United States of America was not involved in the catastrophic accident during final launch preparations for the Safar SLV launch in Semnon launch site one in Iran. I wish Iran best wishes and good luck in determining what happened at site one. Now what's interesting about this tweet is not only the image, which we'll get to in just a second, but Trump's tweet was puzzling because Iran had one day earlier confirmed a rocket explosion at the site, which it said was due to some technical issues. So why would Trump put himself into this conversation and try to clear up the United States and, and their involvement or non-involvement when Iran already put out a statement saying, this is what happened, it was a yeah. tech issue and that's it. So there's two possible explanations, one which is definite and one which is speculative. So one is he's a child, that's definite. So he's like, ha ha, your rocket blew up. Well, they already said their rocket blew up. Oh yeah, we have the pictures of your rocket blowing up. Ha, 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 ha. God damn it, we have a child for a president. We do. Okay, and the second possible reason, which is more speculative, is that it wasn't a technical difficulty. It was either us or Israel, and uh, and so that's Trump then being a double child and rubbing it in. Like, ha ha, oh, did you have technical difficulties when we blew up your satellite, right? And I mean, who, do, who does diplomacy like this? Total, utter buffoon. And so, by the way, James Comey, the Inspector General, chastised them, but said and clarified what he uh, released was not classified. Um, Hillary Clinton, oh, lock her up, lock her up because of emails that might have had classified information. Well, this is definitely classified. This is 100% classified. And I just want to note that the inspector general's um, uh, investigation into what Comey did indicated that the memo had confidential information in it, but it was not deemed classified, right? Yeah. So there's a difference uh, in terms of the classifications there. But I want to go back to the image that Donald Trump shared in that tweet, because that image is most definitely from an intelligence briefing that he had right before he put this tweet out. Now, I do wanna go to a tweet kind of comparing what commercial satellites can show us in terms of imagery and how it differs from what Trump gets in intelligence briefings, right? So right there on the right hand side is what commercial satellites will show you. And then on the left hand side, you have what our intelligence has access to. Now the reason why it's problematic to share something like this is because it allows other countries, in this case Iran, to know what type of spying methods our intelligence community has. Right, so intelligence experts have been kind of weighing in on this and that's what they've been saying. But Donald Trump is defending his decision to put this image out there. Take a look. I just wish Iran well, they had a big problem. And we had a photo and I released it, which I have the absolute right to do. And we'll see what happens. You'll have to figure that one out yourself. But we'll see what happens. They had a, a big mishap, it's unfortunate. And so Iran, uh, as you probably know, they were gonna set off a big missile and it didn't work out too well, had nothing to do with us. Okay, so in a best case scenario, he just told all of our enemies how detailed we can see what they're doing on the ground. By the way, Iran has a lot of bunkers. Why do they have bunkers? Because they're worried about what we can see if they're working on something above ground. And we just showed them and the whole world the level of detail that we can have. Now, the, that's the less problematic scenario. The more problematic scenario is somehow it has to do with a source on the ground that might have helped facilitate a, a clearer picture, mm -hmm. okay? Now, I don't know the technical details of how that would work, 
But I have read in articles that people are concerned about that. Now, if it turns out there is someone on the ground who's helping us, Trump probably just got him killed. Yeah, and also let me just remind you that one of the issues that has increased tensions between the United States and Iran is our behavior in their airspace. Remember, they shot down a US drone. The United States claims that that drone was flying in international airspace. I don't believe the US, I'm just keeping it real. Iran shut, uh, shot down that drone and that almost led to a full blown war. Remember, Trump had uh, uh, ordered an airstrike and then in the last second he called that airstrike off. I bring that up because in the context of this latest story, he's really stoking uh, the tensions that Iran and the United States are already dealing with. It's a disaster, he's a child. I don't know what his motivation was here. But oftentimes when a president decides to declassify information and share it with the public, you know what he does? He talks to members of the intelligence community to figure out what the proper protocol is. So he's not sharing government secrets or secrets from our intelligence community uh, with the public because yeah. that could get lives, you know, could lose lives. So people sometimes are incorrectly saying in articles that uh, the president did nothing wrong. That's not true. What is true is he didn't do anything illegal. We care about facts here and the fact is the president can declassify anything he wants. So I'm kidding about locking him up, although those were the absurd chance when the Republicans claimed that they cared so much about classified material potentially getting out that people should be in prison for it, right? Now the president can't go to prison for that because he can automatically declassify things. But you should be equally concerned when the president does it. And is this something that is wrong? Well, we just explained to you several different reasons why it is deeply problematic. Now, that leads me to the ICE raid in Mississippi, why? You know that when ICE did that raid, they refused to tell anyone including Child Protective Services, even though they knew they'd be children left behind after they grabbed their parents from the factory. Because they mainly didn't want Trump to find out because they thought the child would tweet about it. Now, ICE is nobody's liberal, right? I, I, I think that raid was abominable. I think that they've done some terrible things over there. So this isn't about politics or policy. This is just everyone in the government knows the president is an idiot and can't be trusted. So they must have been having that intelligence briefing. He's like, oh, I like that picture. I'm gonna tweet it. And everybody in the room must have been like, no, don't tweet that big old. Oh, God damn it, he tweeted it. I can't believe he tweeted it. Yeah, and if you look closely at the image, it appears, and this is speculation, but uh, other people have noticed this. It appears that he took a photo using his phone from the intelligence briefing. Oh God, what an imbecile. Yeah. So when they were redoing Air Force One, he's like, I wouldn't get involved, I wouldn't get involved. You know what they had him do? They had him pick out the colors of the next plane. And then he bragged about it. He doesn't realize they're like, oh, good boy, you picked the colors, Donnie. You picked the colors. He's like, okay, I picked the colors. I picked the colors. And then he came out on TV and he's like, you know, I was very much involved in Air Force One. I picked the colors. They only had blue and white. I thought of red. Now it's red, white, and blue. Look, to be fair, um, I am a lover of interior design, so I get it. But you got to <laughs> get your work done, all right, before you get into picking the colors. Does he even know color theory? Does oh. he? No one knew color theory until Anna just mentioned it. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.